All right. <clears throat> It's this time for story time with Quinn, okay? So basically, um, as y'all may have known or may not have been known, I went to WeaveCon in Dallas, Texas, Dallas Fort Worth area, you know, in the Yeehaw land of Tejas, okay? And so basically, um, originally I was gonna go by myself. Well, I wasn't gonna go originally, but then I found out that the homie Rain and Sleepy were going, and then like five up two, and I was like, oh shit, y'all are, are three of y'all going? Like, okay, so I ended up going because I'm really close to all of them. And I was like, yeah, I'd love to hang out and, you know, chill vibe. And then it was going to be my first ever uh, con where, like, I was able to actually, like, walk up and meet you guys, right? I wasn't, like, an official guest or anything. But being able to, like, walk up and, you know, like, I don't know, say hi and all that shit was was very it, it was very nice. It was very nice. Um, I want to say one thing before I start. Oh, my God, bro. Y'all. OK, my fans are some of the chillest fans ever like okay my viewers are so chill all right because listen i have heard horror stories about other people's viewers and you guys just walked up said hi and kind of fucked off which was great that's exactly what you should do at these things okay don't follow no one don't don't stalk them for like you know hours around the con don't make up lies and pretend like you know people that know them and to hang out with them like you know you guys were not weird you just walked up and said hi. What did you expect? Crazy people? I mean, there's always a bunch of crazies in every streaming chat, you know? I just did, I didn't know there was going to be like significantly less in mine than others, you know? So I was very surprised in a good way that you guys were pretty normal. So keep that shit up, okay? Because if y'all start acting weird, I'm going to just stop going to these things, all right? You know? Be honest with you. There's no point in me going if y'all going to walk up and be like, I don't know, bugging the fuck out or acting like, you know, belligerent. So, yeah. Y'all were normal, okay? Some people, though... Ooh, 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 there were some stories. A lot of fans aren't that weird. Yeah, true, true. I think it just depends on what type of audience you have. Um, Like, I don't know. There were some... Like I said, there were some There were some things that definitely happened, and I was like, damn. I'm glad that's not my viewer, you know? Um, So pretty much on the way there, okay? I was originally going to go by myself. I found out, you know, Sleepy, Rain, and 5up were going. And I was like, okay, you know... I'll go. Um, and then I looked at how expensive the hotel was, and I was like, uh, looking a little bit poor recently. You know, my the finances are not financing. So like, let me try to, let me let me try to see if I could potentially, you know, find someone to split the cost with. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to pay this full amount. Like, let me see if I can find someone to like, you know, pay for half of it. Right? I wanted, you know the cost to be cheaper and also i didn't want to like hover rain and sleepy the whole time because i know rain had like some events and stuff and i didn't want to be like fucking you know up their ass you know i know i'm close to them but um i i feel like it's like you go to a con and you just know a few people you don't want to be like up someone's ass right but yeah i know so on the way there um i was like okay you know johnny let's 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 go together right you know let's go together okay and so, on the way to the fucking airport, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> I swear to God. Okay. Normally, when I travel at the airport, I have, like, some nightmare horror story. All right. This time. Okay, chat. Listen. This time, the airport wasn't that bad for the most part. It was pretty chill. Um, I mean, normally, it's terrible. So, so, when I was there on the airport, I don't know why people do this. I don't know why. I have a question, chap. Okay. Have you ever in your life, have you ever once in your life been like, yo, let's talk to someone on the phone in public while I'm taking a shit? Have you ever thought of that? Press one if you've thought of potentially doing that before. Press two if you haven't. Because, you know, I just need like a gauge. Because I feel like I've encountered this a lot. Okay. Uh, like, like, uh, 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 not the, the fact that there's any ones in this chat is disappointing as fuck. I'm not going to lie. If you typed one, rethink everything. Okay. Listen, I understand if you're at your own house and you talk to like, you know, some of you really close to you while pooping a little bit or while peeing fine, but in public now, for those of you want people that press one, I got a follow-up question. Would you fucking talk to somebody in the airport bathroom? on the phone while you're taking a shit and also put it on speaker. 
so that like the rest of the bathroom can hear the person you're talking to and the you know person you're talking to can hear the intricacies of your farts and maybe you know the fucking exact sounds and uh duration of the farts of your neighbor in the stall okay of your stall neighbor would you ever do that if you were to at least if, if you were to go to the bottom you know and talk to someone while taking a shit in public would you go even lower to hell and do that i think personally most normal people would not however i have encountered this like five times okay in my life now this time it was very interesting because when i went <laughs> into the bathroom okay when i was in the bathroom you know i walked in to go in there i heard so i do not like to piss in like urinals okay especially in public i just I can't do it. I don't like doing it. I don't like the fact that someone could just look over at me while I'm taking a piss. If someone like, you know, fucking coughs next to me while I'm peeing in the urinal, like suddenly I'm just like, my flow is dead. Like I can't do it. So I normally go to the stall and just piss if it's available, right? If I have no other option, I'll go to the urinal, okay? So I was waiting for the stall. This bathroom had like two sides to it. So one side had stalls and urinals. Another side had stall and urinals. And then like the middle portion of the connecting wall was like sinks okay so it was like right wall stalls and shit left wall stalls and shit middle wall that was connecting both sections sinks and so on the right side i walk in and i hear this guy like no but it's not like that what is the proof what do you mean you saw nothing why are you pulling this up like this means anything so i witnessed a man cussing someone out like in some like petty domestic argument over the phone and I was like, I wonder what the fuck he's talking about. None of the stalls were open. So my nosy ass just sat there and listened because why the fuck not? Keep in mind, he was taking a shit while arguing. And I kind of deciphered the conversation a little bit. He was taking a dump while possibly getting dumped by his girlfriend. Okay, shit was bizarre. I don't know how you can take two L's at the same time. But, you know, and he did it in public and I heard it. So that's three L's. Okay, he was taking a dump, getting dumped, and getting dumped on by my fucking hater ass from behind the stall. Okay, it was bizarre. <laughs> and I, I narrowed it down to the fact that I think the guy, right... I think the guy was getting accused by the girlfriend of cheating because from the conversation, it was basically him saying like, that means nothing. What are you talking about with this thing? Um, that that's my friend that are, like, it was very defensive about like specific situations and people. And I kind of like deciphered from it that my, he was definitely getting caught cheating or like accused of cheating. I don't know if he actually cheated, you know, unfortunately, it wasn't on speakerphone, so I couldn't hear what she was saying. I kind of wish it was. But I heard him, like, saying, like, that's fucking dumb. No, like, like, uh, uh you know, Christine, it's not like that. Why, why are you always like this? Why are you always accuse me of everything? No, no, no. Like, it was very, like, they have argued about him cheating before or he's been accused of cheating before. Now, personally, I've had friends that have been in relationships where they have not cheated on the girl. And they were just getting accused of cheating left and right, okay? My best friend at one point, his girlfriend thought me and him were dating, that's how paranoid she was. So I don't know who was in the wrong, okay? I have no idea who the fuck was in the wrong, right? But either way, it was a very heated debate and I was sitting there like, damn. It's like my friend and his, and his girl back when they were still together. <laughs> so then on the other side of the bathroom, right? That was on the right side. On the left side, I go in. And there's some dude like on the phone. I don't know if he was talking. He was talking to a girl too. Okay. I don't know what it is with, what is it with these, you know, these men and talking to like, you know, their potential girlfriend, love interest or female on the phone while taking a shit in public airport bathrooms. Is that like an archetype I need to investigate? Is this, this is a, becoming a common occurrence? I don't fucking understand. So on the other side, this person actually had their phone on speaker. So I could hear the girl talking and I could hear him talking. And this was like a very normal conversation. Like, I, it seemed like it was like a married couple just talking about random shit. But I was kind of like, bro, why are you doing, why is your wife on the speakerphone while you're taking a shit in the airport? Like, do you think your wife wants to hear like fucking, you know, Paul next to you, you know, dropping a deuce? Okay. Do you think your wife wants to hear Phil in the stall, you know, adjacent to you, you know, ripping ass, you know, like starting the lawnmower going to like, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think your wife wants to hear that. But anyways, she heard everything, okay? Because someone next to him was ripping ass. Like that, that, those farts 
had like a BPM. It was kind of impressive, okay? It's like when you start a lawnmower and it goes brrrm, like that happened a few times. I was sitting there like, damn, you can make a beat out of that. So his wife heard, you know, Paul, you know, the producer, you know, making a beat with his farts while talking to him about like some random shit. I didn't really understand their conversation. I tried to eavesdrop the best I could, but I also was trying to get in and out of this bathroom as quick as possible because it smelled like dookie in there. So I went to the stall, I peed, I left, you know? It was all right. I get on the plane. The plane, the plane was like, the plane ride was awful, okay? Listen, y'all know I have motion sickness, right? So I can't play the Apex Legends or any of that bullshit, right? Like, I just can't do it. I just feel like I'm gonna vomit. This plane, I normally, I've been on planes where there's been bad turbulence. I really have. And sometimes it feels like you're about to die, okay? You like hit a hit an air pocket, drop like 20 feet, and you're like, oh my God, my life is fucking over. This was not the case with this plane. This plane was just consistently ass. I don't know what it was. You know when you like, like go really fast forward or backward or like you spin around really fast and stop and you feel like really dizzy suddenly it, it felt like i had like like fucking vertigo on this plane okay the like pressure changes the like direction of whatever whatever g-force was tugging on me was like ass random and changing the whole time so i literally was sitting there feeling like i was gonna like throw up on my shoes like i thought i was gonna throw up an entire organ it was actually insane i've never been on a plane that has made me this sick in my fucking life normally normally planes are pretty fine i don't know if this fucking pilot got his license during the pandemic so he didn't really test drive real shit i don't fucking know okay maybe it was because i was on a boeing plane you know the boeing planes been you know blowing up and shit recently i don't fucking know but regardless that plane ride was awful i literally was like Ugh. like i've never felt sicker on a plane run and normally planes do not make me motion sick at all maybe they'll make me feel a little bit dizzy you know i'm like dizzy by default okay but there was an extra level of what the fuck, right? And meds for motion sickness don't fucking work for me because I'm, you know, you, listen, bro, I've been on like some of the strongest painkillers imaginable and, you know, that shit does nothing either. So I think my bloodstream has just, you know, decided to say fuck that to every other med I take. That's not like borderline, like, you know, hospitalization strong or like I need to get through an IV or some shit that you could OD if you take like the wrong, like, you know, milligram of a milligram of a milligram of a milligram, like one extra powder strain and you're fucking... So if that's not something that's that strong, I do not fucking feel it a lot of the time. So I didn't feel anything, okay, with the with the motion sickness med. So I I don't even take them. But yeah, that shit was terrible, okay? I felt sick as fuck. We landed. I was like, I need some food. I wanted donuts at the airport after this plane ride, even though I probably shouldn't have because I felt sick. And then I go up. It's a it's a it's a Dunkin' Donuts, right? Okay, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna get me some donut holes. I walk up and he says, we all out. We, we all out. What you mean you all out of donuts? What you talking about? You all out of donuts? You out of donuts where I need them? That shit was tragic as fuck. I was depressed. I was sad. I was, I was, I was, I was sad as hell. Okay. But it's whatever, you know? So we get there, I'm on the plane, you know, we land. Okay, it's okay, we get it, fine. And then we had, I went to like this bowling party um, afterward that was a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if the person wants me to say that it was their party, so I'm just not gonna say it, but we went to someone's, you know, party and they had like, a, they rented out like a bowling alley, right? They rented out a bowling alley and like a bunch of VTubers were there. Um, they also gave us like free arcade games for like an hour. Yeah, it was crazy. And so, um, I arrived there with Johnny, okay, you know, and, <laughs> yo, guys, listen, I'm not good at bowling, okay, I'm really not, I'm not good at bowling at all, but the people they put in my lane were just significantly worse than me, like, they made me look like I was a professional, okay, I didn't even get a strike or anything crazy, I was just bowling like a normal ass person, but I swear to God, okay, I was there with Johnny and fucking Evan and like some other dude, okay, and fucking they were so bad, Johnny literally like, I swear, you know how when you don't, when you don't get any of the balls, okay, you know, it just has a little dash, if you get zero pins, right, the amount of dashes Johnny had, by the end of the game, I think he had like 12 points, 
like 12, 13, 14, 15. That shit like did not cross 20. It might have gotten to 20. I don't know. But the amount of gutter balls, the amount of no points he got was insane. <laughs> <And then, laughs> Evan, yo, Evan was Evan was losing to Johnny at first, which I know sounds impossible. The only reason Evan even caught up a little bit is because he put the fucking bumpers on. So he dead ass cheated. So like honestly, I think Johnny would have gotten second to last, okay? He would have gotten second to last, but he only got, he didn't get second to last because um, Evan's, Evan's ass cheated, okay? And then there was another guy there. So I was like second place. The guy that was first place, bro, the guy that was first place, I feel like he was like hacking or something, okay? He was like the skinniest one out of us all. He was tall as fuck. So realistically, like he's not built for bowling, okay? But regardless, bro was getting like, like every time he at least got like eight of the pins and he got a few strikes he was like okay so since i got a strike um technically on the next one um if i get another strike i can go again and then i can go again and i was like who the fuck knows this except people that bowl like every fucking day so he beat he beat the fuck out of us okay we were we were cooked all right he beat the fuck out of us. And then the whole time, Johnny kept being like, oh, no. Johnny's British, by the way, for like those of you that don't know. He was like, oh, I, I, I can't. I can't do this anymore. I need to put my shoes on. I don't like these shoes. Like he was he was acting like he got if he got seen or caught dead in these bowling shoes, it would be the end of his life. Like he was so like, oh, these look so horrid. Like I can't wear them. Like he like bowling shoes, bro. Who the fuck looks at your feet in a bowling alley? For first of all, it's dark as shit. And second of all, everyone was wearing bowling shoes. But he was so insecure about wearing, you know, these bowling shoes. Okay, I don't know what the fuck it was. It was like if he got seen in those, had a picture taken of him, like he was going to like, you know, go 0-1 or something. Like, I don't know what the fuck was happening, okay? He's about to graduate IRL if someone saw him with the fucking, with shoes on. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why it was such a big deal. Personally, I was like, damn, you know, hopefully I don't look ugly. But he was just like, these shoes are they look so horrid on me. And so, you know, he got out of the shoes. And yeah, Johnny didn't know anyone there. So I was um trying to introduce him to people. But to be honest, I was kind of like, I didn't really know like half the people there either. Okay. Also, I feel like whenever I go to like VTuber things, I have this weird issue. Y'all know I just show my face and post it. Like, I do not give a fuck. Okay. My face has been on the internet for since before I was a VTuber, right? So I don't care if people know what I look like. But everyone else that's a VTuber likes the anonymity that it gives you or like likes being anonymous. So I'll go to these events and I'll have people like look at me from across the room, make eye contact three times. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, who the fuck is that? Oh my God, who the fuck? Do they know who I am? I did. Yo, am I gonna have to like pull a name out of my ass? I gotta start listening to the voice. I gotta listen to the voice. If I don't listen to the voice, I'm not gonna know who the person is. Yo, if I ask them who, who they are, it's just rude as fuck. What if I don't recognize them? What if they have a different voice off stream? It's literally like everyone knows the fuck I am and I know who literally fucking no one is. So I'm literally having people walk up to me and, and like say hi. And I in the back of my mind. I'm like, who the fuck are you? Like, I have no actual clue. Like, I am like astound. Like, I am dumbfounded. I am the dumbest person in the room. I don't know any of these motherfuckers. And I have never been to one of these events with VTubers in real life before. So except for like TwitchCon and in TwitchCon, I only really met like yuzu knew me and like bow and like show that was it everyone else i didn't really meet so it's like i didn't really know who any of these people were and so that everyone kept walking up to me and like saying hi and i was like but a lot of them didn't introduce themselves and i was like bro if you don't introduce yourselves like i have no idea who the fuck you are so i just had to pretend like i knew who some of these people were or like play it off like oh yeah good to see you haha -ha. and then in the back of my mind i was like uh, who the fuck was like who, who was that it's not even like an ego thing. Like I probably would at like guarantee if they wore name tags, I would probably recognize half of them. Okay. I'm not as in tune with the indie scene as a lot of people are that have been indies for a while, but like, I guarantee like 50% of them, I would at, would have at least heard of their name or know who they are. Right. But the thing is like on stream, a lot of people are more energetic. Their voice is like more like has, has more power behind it because they're projecting so that the audience can hear them in real life. I'm just like, Hey, what's up? You know, how you doing? Da, da, da. Like, I'm not as energetic unless I fucking know you and I'm super comfortable around you. So a lot of these people, their voices don't really match up either. Sometimes you're used to hearing them through a certain microphone. Some mic profiles make your voice sound very different. Not like crazy different, but like different enough to where if they said something and they weren't, didn't have like streamer mode on with the way they talked, I would not recognize them by their voice. 
So I had no fucking clue. I was waiting for Sleepy and Rain to show up to this thing because I was like, I don't know any of these people. A lot of them know me. I was very confused. The only person there that I knew was, um, I knew, uh, I knew Kami was there and he introduced himself. I knew Joel and who else? I think that was it. Those are the only people I knew. I knew Joel because I saw him at TwitchCon. Kami, I only knew because he introduced himself to me. Um, and then everyone else, I was very confused. Oh, and eventually I saw like, I saw some other people that were there too. Um, I think I saw Nags, I saw Coefficient, and I think like, I think Chibi? Yeah. So eventually I got like, you know, a few people in, but I didn't know who any of the, like, I, they, these were people that I already knew what they looked like, or they were with people who I knew what they looked like. So I was very, I was very confused with a lot of these people walking up to me. And in the back of my mind, I was like, oh shit, you know, I was like, oh fuck. Um, I don't know what the fuck's happening. So. I also saw Fifi too. But like everyone else, I was like, who? I was like, uh, uh, am I supposed to know who you are? I don't know who you are. I felt terrible. I felt guilty. Okay. I was like, I don't fucking know. The group, everyone that I knew, like what they looked like was not at this party. Like it was like the exact group of people that I've never fucking interacted with in person they were all here and then all the people i interacted with in person before were not here so i was literally sitting there like who the fuck are you who you is who you be i think i might know your ass but i don't know your face i was fucking i was lost bro it was over i was done it was dead i had no idea who half these motherfuckers were i left that party and i, I also have this unique problem called being stupid where when people walk up to me and they introduce themselves and they say their name i forget it like as soon as it comes out of their mouth I don't know what it is, okay? My brain doesn't, like, turn on. Hey, they're introducing themselves. You should remember this shit. So they'll come up to me and say something, and, like, I, like, forget it as soon as it leaves their lips. It's awful, okay? It's terrible. Like, if I don't already know who you are and you introduce yourself to me, I, like, won't remember, like, 90% of the time. It's so bad. It is so fucking bad. So I literally... I had some people, like, walk up to me and say hi, like, five times, and then the fifth time, I remembered... Or I would like ask other people around me like, yo, who was that again? Like, I don't fucking remember. Like, I, it's awful. It's not even like a who, who are you? You know, it's not even an ego thing. I just genuinely don't fucking remember. <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad in like this like fucking creator space. But yeah, that was day one. And then after that, we went to Cheesecake Factory because fucking Rain and Sleepy showed up. Like the event, the bowling thing was from like six to nine and they showed up at 845. All my friends showed up at 845. I was like, fuck you motherfuckers, okay? You guys suck ass. You left me here for like an hour and four, two hours and 45 minutes. And then you show up at the last second. So there was a Cheesecake Factory nearby. So we went to that shit, okay? Because that was like the only thing that was fucking open. And it was open till like, what, 10? So we had like an hour. So we go there. um, And there were like... Sleepy, it was Sleepy, Rain, me, Johnny, I think Juniper was there. And then um, there were two other people that I like had not met before that were there. And I low-key, like, I don't know if I remember. I'm so sorry to those people. To those two people, I'm so sorry, okay? We're there. Oh, and Five Up. Yeah, Five Up was there too. And so we all went there and we were sitting down. And like, it was originally just me, Sleepy, Rain, Five Up, and Johnny. And then like... I guess Sleepy invited um, Surefor, who was like an Overwatch guy that he knows from like, you know, when he was a sweaty Overwatch player, to the dinner. And then I guess he brought someone. And then I guess like someone else knew someone and someone else. So like four additional people showed up to the party, okay? And then we get there and yo, Cheesecake Factory is some bullshit, bro. On the menu, they have the calories. Listen, personally, Cheesecake Factory, I think if you want to make more money, you should take the calories off the menu. How the fuck is every dish on their menu like, um, like, 2,000 calories. Every dish. All the dishes. There's not one on the menu that was, like, not, like, like 1,900 to 2,000 calories. Like, that is the daily calorie intake of an average person, okay? That is the maximum amount of calories you need in a day. In one, in one entree. So, then there was this fucking Skinny-licious menu, okay? It was, like, a little menu. It looked like a specialty menu. And fucking me, yo, me, Rain, me and Rain were like having like a serious conversation about something, right? 
And then Johnny from across the table goes, oh my God, there's a skinny licious menu. I can order, off, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna order off the skinny licious menu, like super loud. And then Sleepy just starts dying laughing because the way he just said skinny licious menu in the most posh British accent just did not sound correct. And then Sleepy's like, oh yeah, the skinny licious menu. Oh my God, yeah. I couldn't be caught dead ordering off of the normal menu. We have to stay skinny with the skinny licious menu. And I swear to God, the term skinny licious menu was said for the next the hour and a half nonstop. It was like any time they could insert the word skinny licious into a sentence, they would, okay? Johnny was like, yes, I'm ordering the skinny licious burger off the skinny licious menu. Would you like to look at the skinny licious menu? I looked at the skinny licious menu, okay? And you might think the skinny licious menu is like diet stuff, like, you know, low calorie foods. No, no, no. The skinny licious menu was just like normal, normal ass calorie foods, like 600 calories, 400 calories, 500. like it was like a normal ass meal. So it was like normal portions. I ordered a chicken sandwich off the skinny licious menu. Okay. And it was just like a normal fried chicken sandwich. Who the fuck puts a fried chicken sandwich on a skinny licious menu? Like that is skinny licious. That is still fried chicken. The fuck? So that's how bad the normal menu was. If the skinny licious menu has a fried chicken sandwich on it, Imagine how bad the normal menu was. Jesus Christ. So I got a fried chicken sandwich off the skinny licious menu, okay? Because, you know, I was trying to be skinny licious. And um, I felt very skinny licious after eating the sandwich, okay? I did not feel bloated at all. I was bloated as fuck from that chicken sandwich. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, damn, I eat too much. I had like, at the party before this, there was pizza and like soda. And there was all these Japanese snacks on this random table. And I was eating, I was trying like all those I was trying, I was trying so many of the Japanese snacks. So by the time I was eating the skinny licious menu, I was already not skinny licious. Okay. I was already not skinny licious, bro. All right. So then after that, we go back to the hotel. Um, I was sharing a room with Johnny. And so then like we were just watching like, <laughs> hey guys, I promise I'm not a hater, but I'm a little bit of a hater. We were watching, he wanted to watch like YouTube or something. So we were like both laying in the bed watching fucking like YouTube, right? And he put on Cody Ko. And we were watching Cody Ko. I'm not gonna lie, yo. Listen, for those of y'all that watch Cody Ko, bless you. That's all I got, bless you. Because that shit, I could not watch it, okay? It was not entertaining to me. I don't know why I can't do it. I need some more like, some more pizzazz. I literally pointed out to Johnny as I was watching, we were watching Cody Ko, that what they did in their commentary is they would just repeat what happened in the video with like out adding much to it. So it would be like, oh my God, I can't believe they said that. That's horrible. Continue the video. Oh, wow. They really did that? That's insane. Like the commentary was like very basic. Like I feel like almost anyone could have done it. I'm not going to lie. I really do. And then I was like, let me show you some good people, some people who are actually good at commentary. So I pulled up like... I think it was like an app and preach video. And then that turned into us watching an AMP video. And I was like, they're actually funny. So we watched the same exact react video where they were like reacting to, um, what was that show called? Fuck. Oh, like the true, what was it called? Johnny, what the fuck was the show called that you were like having them react to moment of truth. That's what the fuck it was. It was called moment of truth. Okay. It was this show from like back in like the nineties that they had to ban because the amount of fucking shit. Like, like it was, the, they, that show was fucked up. If you ever, I'll react to it sometime. That show was fucked up. If you ever watched the moment of truth, it is, they literally had to get rid of it because people were like dying due to like the stuff that was on the show or like it like ruined their life. So it literally like got taken off the of air because of how unethical it was pretty much. But anyways, I pointed this out to Johnny that their commentary was lame as shit. And then we watched another video and then he was like, oh my God, you're right. You ruined them for me. I hate you. And bro, like, slapped me on the arm. I was like, this is awful. Why did you have to ruin them for me? I loved them. She was so mother before. Like, I... <laughs> I dead ass ruined that shit for him. He was like, what the fuck? This shit actually isn't that entertaining. And I was like, bro. Bro, I was like, what the hell? And so, um, but he was like, because I think Johnny liked, like, uh, Cody Cove's girlfriend or something. He was like, I loved her. She was so mother. Like, it was, it was a great thing. Like, I can't believe you ruined this for me. And like, I, I love Kelsey. The relationship is so funny. And then he was watching it. was like, damn, you're right. These are like, and then I played a funny video and he was like, fuck, you're right. This is a lot funnier. Yeah, damn. And now um, he's a, he's a fan of AMP too. Somehow. I, I don't fucking know. So I showed him like, you know, funny stuff. And we watched that instead. And then, and then we went to sleep. That was it. 
And then the next day was day 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 one of the con because I got there on Thursday. So that was like not the first day of the con. So day one of the con was a lot of fun. Um, it was it was it was a good time. Um, sorry, every time I hang out with Johnny, I like mimic his British accent because I think it's so fucking funny. Um, and like some of his lingo. He uses a lot of like gay lingo, and I feel like <laughs> I feel like um because of that, when I'm around him, I just start using it too. And like I started saying, that's so mother of you. Like I was like, it's so mother, just because he says like it's so like that, like she's so mother so much, right? So that's why fucking use on Twitter was like, was it mother? Because like I kept doing that. I kept doing it because I thought it was so fucking funny. And I started saying it more than him just to piss him off. And it worked. Okay. He he's very pressed about it. He's like, ah, you say it more than me. Stop. Ugh, you're using it so wrong. That's not how you would say it, it was so mother. Like you just said that about everything. And I was like, exactly, bro. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, on the way. Oh my God. I forgot about the Uber. Okay. Johnny cannot talk about the French thing in the Uber. You made me sound more fruity than I am. No, the fuck I'm not. No, the fuck I'm not. So we're in the Uber, right? On the way back from Cheesecake Factory. This is before, this is before we ended up getting, we ended up getting into the car. So <laughs> we were in this Uber, okay? Keep in mind. We were talking about like Ollie London somehow came up and then like I guess he has some friend that like Johnny knows the Ollie London lore all right then there was this lady called Frenchie Morgan or whatever that knew him and he was like imitating her, her like French accent and like repeating stuff she said just to make us all laugh right like it was just like it was just stupid stuff like there was like one time where she was like like Ollie it's gay it scares me like in like a French accent right so he was just like repeating this to us and like explaining why it was so funny and we were all laughing our ass off it was like me sleepy rain and like him and he was doing like this like French impression and for all intents and purposes okay Johnny can do a very good French accent right like homie sounds French when he does it I don't know if it's because he's already British so it has like a little bit of a buff but he can do a very good French accent right and so we get out of the uber and when we get out of the uber and we go into the hotel sleepy's like johnny i think our uber driver was french and johnny's face was like 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 he turned into a fucking tomato okay his hex code was red as fuck i have never seen him more embarrassed in my fucking life he was like oh fuck i fucked up he was like shit shit bitch and sleepy was like yeah when we got into the uber he had like kind of a french accent right and he was speaking loudly and then once you started doing the french impression when we got to the locate when we got back to the hotel he very quietly mumbled like have a good day instead of saying it confidently like literally because johnny did the accent in the car the dude was like scared to speak up and so he like like very he, he like said it under his breath and i was like damn i was like that is crazy I felt kind of bad for the Uber driver, you know? I feel so bad. <laughs> and then me, me, Sleepy and Rain were just laughing at him for the next, like, fucking, like, 10 minutes because of him, like, doing this and not fucking realizing it, right? We were like them. And so I felt bad. So I, I, I tipped him extra. Or to Sleepy tipped him extra. Whoever the fuck was, did the Uber tipped him extra because we, we felt kind of bad. But it was so fucking funny how, like, embarrassed he was, right? I was sleepy, sleepy, take the metro. So then next day, okay, next day we, um, please, I'm on your floor at, for your attempt at a British accent. I know my British accent is so bad and Johnny likes to point that out all the time that I'm fucking bad at it. And you know what? I don't care. It makes it more funny for me. Okay. Um, and so the next day was day one. Um, and so that's where the boop, 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 boop. Let me, let me, let me put up, let me pull up Twitter. Hold on. Un momento. Un momento. So yeah, on uh, Twitter, like the every day I was there, I would just post a picture of what I was wearing so people could find me. Actually, the first day I didn't fucking do that. My fault. The first day I didn't fucking do that, but I did meet some of you guys. So, um, do 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 do. Let me go to this. So the first day, I met some of you guys. You know, I met this. This girl gave me like a, uh, she gave me, I don't know if she put in the replies, 
but she gave me this oh yeah it's here it's here it's here she gave me a um a, a bites like little plushy thing she made like isn't this so cute like they gifted this to me that they made and i was like oh my god it's so cute they said hi they were super chill um they were super nice everything was you know it was good it was all good in the hood so the first day i ran into uh this girl who else did i run into i retweeted some of the pictures but not all of them let me see let me see let me see let me look under the the live tag or the Quinn Bennett tag. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah. Okay. First day. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna say who, but there was. So first day. Um. Oh yeah. I also wait. Were there? Did I meet them on the first day? Oh my god. I don't even remember. I also met. Um. I met. Stormy on the first day too, who uh, works with like uh, Ann Yadko, the voice actress. So I knew where to find her. I saw her last year. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to stop by this year, say hello, you know? And we took this picture and I look awkward as shit as per usual. <laughs> yo, yo, I, listen, guys, listen. I feel like I'm either like photogenic or like I'm not. And so this was one of the times where I very much was not. But regardless, you know what? We, it, it was, it was a nice, wholesome conversation, okay? It was a nice, wholesome conversation. It was nice. Good to see her again. You know, always a good time um, to stop by the booth. So, it, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. So, you know, I said hello. Um, and it, it was, it, that was good. Um, and then first day, what else did I do? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. This girl, <laughs> this girl, I'm not going to say who, but this girl, like, walked up to me, right? First day, okay? And fucking, <laughs> fucking hugged me, right? I saw, I was waiting in line for my badges. And the line for the badges was so fucking long. Yo, Lindsay, thanks for the, thanks for the 10 gifted. Thank, thank you. The line for the badges was so fucking long, right? Like, it was long as shit, okay? It was really fucking long. I don't know why it was so long, but it was really fucking long. And so... Um, while in the line, I ran into, um, a, a, a viewer of mine. Um, they were super sweet. They were like, hello, you know, how are you? Da, 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 da. And fucking. <laughs> and then they, they, so, you know, how I said, like, I don't know how I feel about hugs. You know what? I realized, um, in person, uh, I'm too nice. So I was like, let a, a, anyone could hug me at that point. Okay. I was giving everyone a hug real shit. Like, you know what? I was getting everyone a hug, so you're welcome to everyone, okay? But this person gave me a hug, and they were like, their face was like about where like my arm and shoulder connected to my body, right? And so what they did is they hugged me, and <laughs> they got lipstick all over my white shirt. <laughs> they, <laughs> they got lipstick all over my white shirt, bro. And this was the, the beginning of the day. Now I was like, fuck, now I got to walk around with a stain on my shirt all fucking day, right? Like all fucking day. I was like, damn. And then, um, Monty, one of Johnny's friends was like, oh yeah, I, I think I have like wipes or something. I think she had like makeup wipes. She didn't have like stain remover, you know, like how there's those Tide pens. She didn't have a Tide pen, but she had some stain remover. So she put the stain remover on and I was like, okay, you know what? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, that was that. Okay, I got the stain remover and I tried. I tried using the makeup wipe and uh, it did not come off. I actually still have that. My shirt's still stained. I washed it. Fuck, I didn't put stain remover on that bitch. Let me see. Let me see if the shirt is still stained. I washed my clothes when I got back. Hold on. Update. Um, update. Update, update. The, the shirt is still stained. The shirt is still fucking stained. Fuck! Okay, so I, I gotta use some stain remover. Okay, yeah, it's still stained. Um, This was my favorite. This is my favorite t-shirt that's, like, not a t-shirt, you know? Like, it, it, it doesn't have, like, some random logo on it. It's just a nice, plain shirt. This is my favorite one, and now it has a red lipstick stain on it. So, you know, maybe, maybe for once it will look like I'm able to attract attention of the preferred sex, okay? Maybe it'll look like I have bitches for once, but no, um... That wasn't the case. So, uh, my shirt is staying now. <laughs> I was like, fuck. But you know what? It's okay. You know, shit happens. Um, I was just glad to say hello to the person. And then... 
Do, 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 do. I think with people that posted pictures, I think that was it for that day. Um, but yeah, I, I was walking on the con, going in the artist alley, just kind of fucking around, you know, having a good time. Nothing like too, too crazy. Um, just got here. Did someone kiss him? No, they, they kissed my shirt. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it was an accident. Maybe they were, maybe they were trying to go for, yo, Sleepy was like, yo, bro, they were trying to go for a sniff. <laughs> he was like, they were trying to get a, they were trying to get a whiff, bro. They were trying to get a whiff. I was like, damn. I was like, what the fuck? They were trying to get a whiff. It's crazy. So, you know, maybe they were trying to get a whiff. I don't fucking know. But yeah, that day I walked around, just said hello to people. It was a good time. I didn't post what I looked like. So I didn't have as many people walking up to me the first day. Um, I was more like MIA and shit. But yeah, it was a good time. Also, let me show you all a pic of the, the, like, the hotel. So this is the convention center or like the hotel where the convention center is. The convention was more underground than this, but this was like... This was like uh, the main kind of like atrium area. Do, 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 do. Fit to fit. fit to, hello? Transform? Where the fuck are you? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, hello, hello, hello. All right, fit to screen. Yeah, this is the, this was the fucking, um, this was the atrium area where the hotel was. It looks like, yo, I tweeted this. I don't know if you have Twitter or not, but I said it looks like the fucking Texas version of Rainforest Cafe in this bitch. Like, what the fuck? They had, like, plants. They had a fountain. They had, like, lizards and shit. Like, a garden. Like, this was inside of the hotel. Like, what the fuck? It looks like some, like, a fighting arena or some shit. It was insane, bro. It was insane. It looks like the Crystarium if it was, like, modernized and, like, yeehawed a bit. You know? It was very impressive how big it was. Um, And, yeah, it was it was okay. It was, it was fine. Uh, it was good. It was fun. It was, you know... Yeah, but this is like the Gaylord Resort in Texas. So it was fucking massive. And my room was like one of the top rooms with the balcony. They yo, they upgraded my shit for free. Yo, I got there and they were like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna give you an upgrade because of this, 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 this. And I was like, okay. I think I had my mom book the hotel with my credit card. So I think she had my mom, yo, my mom is like, she loves to save money, right? Okay. If she can get a deal, she's gonna get a deal. So I think she has like all these points saved up from like fucking traveling. So she applied, was able to apply them to my hotel room, even though it was on my credit card. So we got a free upgrade, a nicer room, higher up, all that. It was a, you know, it was, shout out to my mother, okay? Mama Bennett, you carried, all right? It was good. And so it was fun. Um, It was great. And then also on day one, I was waiting in the line to see uh, Monarch or Amelie because I knew she would be busy and she wouldn't have time to go to any of like the parties or events. And, you know, she's she's a very professional lady and not you know a degenerate like the rest of us who just fucking party in like random hotel rooms at 3am so you know we ended up uh going up to her and um while in line <laughs> yo this is the scariest thing someone asked me to do okay you know how i said i'm scared of people getting tattoos of me because like what if i get canceled and then you hate me like a week later so of course someone walks up to me and they they didn't have a tattoo of me already okay they didn't already have one but they had like this, this proposal, this proposition. I was like, oh shit, what, what do you want me to do, bro? What do you want me to do? And they were like, can you write in this notebook anything, draw anything, put your name, whatever, and I'm going to get it tattooed on me. And I was like, Hell fucking no, you're not. Like, please don't, if anything. Like, me? I have to draw something on the fly with a Sharpie and some random notebook in the middle of a con, and you're getting this shit tattooed? I was like, what the fuck? So, on purpose, I made that shit tiny, okay? I made it tiny, um, and they were like, just put your name or something. So, I put my name, okay? And I tried my... I, I, I was in my calligraphy arc, okay? I don't even know how the fuck to spell calligraphy. But in, in that moment, I had a calligraphy pen, okay? I was watching a tutorial. I was making my own custom font. That's how much precision I was applying to this fucking signature, okay? I didn't even have a signature at that point. I was just writing my fucking name. I was trying so hard. And then they walk up to me and they, they showed me all these other tattoos of like stuff that they have had to, like they have, how they were like covered in tattoos of things that people have written in notebooks that they've gotten tattooed. And they walked up to me and they were, they were like telling me that one of my friends from um, my old job, they had their lips or their like, like, like their lips or like a kiss from them, like tattooed on their ass, like literally tattooed on their fucking ass. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I have this person's, you know, lips. Prince, you know, tattooed on my ass. I was like, what the fuck? On oh, your ass is crazy. 
Got a, you got a VTuber tramp stamp? Like, what is happening? So they were just willing to get anything tattooed. I was kind of like, all right, if you want to do it, you know what? Shout out to you. If you love it, I love it, you know? Me personally, I'm not, I, I could never. But if you could, let's go. So I think what happened is like, um, they had someone like uh ki kiss like the like the notebook and then they like traced over it. Um, I think. Uh, but yeah, they would just do this with kind of everyone. I don't think it's parasocial. I just think it's something they like to do, you know. I just think it's like a little quirky thing I like to do. But yeah, we were in line and like at first they didn't recognize me by my face, but then I said something really loud to like Johnny or something, and they looked at me and they're like, <gasps> Are you from Hollywood? And I was like, Allegedly. <laughs> and then they were like, all right, now I need you to draw a unique design that I'm going to get tattooed permanently on my body. And after that, my heart dropped to my ass. Okay, my heart dropped further down to my ass than the, than the fucking ass tattoo they have was. Okay, it was in my feet. I, had, I felt so much pressure, you know, to like fucking make this look good. So it was very, it was a lot, but I managed, I did it, whatever. It looked fine. You know, it, it looked fine. I think, I hope, but yeah, I said, you know, I literally said to them, yo, if I get, I was like, I could get canceled tomorrow. So if I get canceled and this is on your body, please don't fucking hate me. And they were like, oh, I don't give a fuck. So they were chill. We had like a nice conversation um, about how they got into VTubers and all that. And then we kind of went on our ways. Um, and then I went up uh, to Monarch and I was like, what's good? How you doing? They're like, oh, what's up? And then, you know, I just. I kind of fucked off afterward and we were just chilling. Um, so it was chill. It was chill. It was chill. That was the most unique fan experience I had though. Like the lipstick and the, the someone wanting me to write a tattoo for them on the spot was the scariest thing ever. Was Monarch mothering? Monarch was mothering. Yes. She was, uh, she was contemplating, um, and subbing so much mother. Her line was long as fuck, bro. I waited in that for like 20 minutes. So, you know, shout out to her. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And then after that, um, I ended up hanging out with like Johnny split off and, you know, hung out with his friends. I split off and hung out with Sleepy Rain and Five Up, who were like, you know, my friends. And so um, he was still walking on the con. I was hanging out with them and we we're just in the hotel room. And yo, guys, amigos, friends, I don't know what it was, but that room service pizza Hit every fucking time, okay? Also, not only thanks for the membership. Toma, thanks for the five gifted. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Sheep, thanks for the thanks for the membership as well. Okay, thanks for the prime. Lindsay, thanks for the tier one. And Angel, thanks for two months. Welcome back, Quinn. And let's go two months. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> the the room service pizza was so fucking good. Rain and sleeping were just ordering room service for everything. I was like, you guys are dumb as fuck. But you know what? If you want to, you got that. But the room service pizza there was fire. I don't know why it was so good. Okay? That shit was amazing. Like, I ate that shit. Me and Five of got a pizza. I think Sleepy got, like, not... Like, he didn't get nachos. He got a quesadilla. Rain got, like, nachos or something. And they were eating... He, Sleepy was eating the quesadilla. And he was like, Can I have a bite of the pizza? You can have one of my quesadillas. And you know, if someone offers you their food and asks for a bite of your food... That means their food is fucking ass, okay? They're, they're, no one ever offers their food in exchange for your food if their food is not ass, okay? So I was like, fuck no, I'm not having one of your, your quesadillas, okay? I know that shit is ass, all right? That is not a quesadilla. That is a quesadilla, okay? So that shit was definitely not made correct. But the pizza was like, it wasn't obviously like A tier pizza, but for like hometown room service pizza, that shit was way better than I expected. And then Sleepy ate like a few pieces of mine. Rain had some of my pizza because it was it was a lot of pizza. It was a lot of pizza. I didn't eat all of it. So we were just kind of sharing the two pizzas because me and five have got like two 12 inch pizzas. And then we were playing like some card game that like Rain knew about where you would kind of pass. You would like pass. You had to like go higher. It was like higher or lower or something. And yeah, it, it was fun. And we were just kind of chilling there until like dinner time. What the fuck did we do for dinner? I don't even remember. I think we just got dinner like somewhere outside of the hotel. But that was like kind of like midday. We were just hanging out, chilling. It was it was fun time. What's up, Camilla? I'm getting it next time. Yeah, you should. It was pretty good, actually. It was pretty good. But yeah, that was day one. Day one was pretty chill. We didn't do like too, too much, but that wasn't the dinner. No, that was like lunch. That was like lunch. That was like lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, Roy? Um, that was lunch. Bags of tomatoes, thanks for the tier one. Yeah, I don't what the fuck did we do for dinner? Did we did we meet up with people? I feel like we did. I'm trying to remember who. 
I don't fucking remember. I don't fucking remember. Did you also go to Torchies? No, no, no. I didn't go to Torchies. Uh, that was a different night. That was day two. So day two. Was that day two? I think that was day two. Yeah. Day two happens. Okay. You know, we were chilling. We were vibing. I posted my day two pick on Twitter. Um, it was this one. Oh shit! Wrong, wrong fucking screen. Wrong fucking screen. Do 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 do. Yeah, it was this picture. You know, me and Johnny. Um, and so yeah, that was my day two. And then day two, I kind of walked around, said hello to people. Uh, I mogged. Yeah, everyone. Hey, yo, you motherfuckers are so toxic. Okay, no, first of all, fuck you guys. All right, my viewers are the most sundere motherfuckers I've ever met. Okay, you guys quite literally were like quote retweeting this and being like. You know, Quinn looks okay, but that random guy next to him that has half his face covered looks so much better. Like, yeah, you guys were literally pointing out how you could barely, you could see less of him, but he looked better just to piss me off. And you know what, motherfuckers? Okay, it worked a little bit. Fuck you, fuck you, chat, okay? Next time I see a picture of one of y'all, I'm gonna be like, damn, I, I mod you. Yeah, I fucking, I did that. Yeah, so everyone was just, everyone kept asking who Johnny was. Like, who is he? And I was like, bro, I fucking tagged him, you dumbass. Okay, just look, all right? So yeah, um, Johnny was mothering. And so then I kind of walked around the con, had a good time, it was chilling. Um, then I like met some people. Um, so I met her, it was super nice. I met him when I was walking into like, a, I think one of like the booths, cause I think Rain had like a meet and greet that day. Um, this person had a uh, artist alley table that I found. Um, I actually, some of their friends walked up to me and they were like, yo, they're like, yo, 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 you got to go to this. Yo, your friends were putting in work for you. Okay. They're like, yo, you got to go to this fucking booth. You got to go to this person's booth. Okay. They have stickers. They have a sticker of you that are like, you have to go. So I went and I found their booth because obviously they wanted, you know, me to go there. So shout out to your friends. Okay. I found their booth. Um, it was, it was really fun. It was really fun. I went there. It was good. And, um, I also met up with Natty. Okay. Yo, this fucking picture. This fuss, so let me tell you about this fucking picture right here. So I told her, and I was like, yo, she pulled out, okay, when we were taking the picture, she whipped out the Snow app. If y'all don't know what Snow is, okay, Snow is like this app where pretty much um, it's like filters. So it's like, imagine if there was like Facetune, but like in real time, or like there were like filters for a lot of things, okay? And so I was like, you know what? You can use the snow app, but I was like, don't make me look crazy. Cause I feel like every time I've ever taken a picture with the snow app, it, I either like, listen, last time there was another friend of mine that did it. Okay. And I literally, they had a filter that kind of made them a little bit lighter. And for me, it made me literally look like the fucking, what the fuck is that one meme? It's like a creepy pasta thing. Hold on. I'm going to find this shit so I can fucking, so I can fucking point it out. Oh, okay, okay. You know Jeff the Killer? You know Jeff the fucking Killer, bro? Let me show y'all Jeff the Killer. Okay, every... Yo, this person made me look like Jeff the Killer, okay? My other friend made me look like Jeff the Killer. If y'all don't know what Jeff the Killer looks like, um, and you don't like scary things, look away. But I'm about to show you what Jeff the Killer looks like, okay? So they made me look like this in the picture, all right? My other friends, okay? Like, this is how little my features popped out, okay? My face was washed out. You just saw eyes and mouth, all right? Like, that's it. So I have beef with the snow app, okay? Every time someone takes a picture with the snow app, it makes them look better. It makes me look worse. So I asked her politely. I was like, you're not going to make me look crazy with the snow app, right? And she's like, no, of course not. I was like, don't make me look like Jeff the Killer. She's like, of course not. I won't do that. So, you know, these are the pictures, okay? With that she took with the snow app. Now this one, I mean, I look a little bit different. Okay, low key skin smoother. Shout out to the filters, but you know she looks normal. But like my, it made it like did this weird slimming thing with like my face a little bit. But the one that really did me dirty was this picture, yo. Like no 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 no. Like I don't think you understand, bro. What the fuck happened up here? Like what are these proportions? Hello, like this shit did me. Fucking awful. Like, first of all, this side of my neck goes in, right? And you can just see where the face started shrinking, right? And it like tilted it a little bit. Like, I don't even look like I look AI generated. I literally look AI generated. Like, what the fuck? Like, this shit looks off. I don't even know how my upper body is this long and like it like like squished here. This part got squished a little bit. 
here it got like zoomed in. You can even see the doors warped a little bit right here. Like you see that? But like this shit, who the fuck is that? Who is this? This is not me. Okay, I look like a giraffe. Okay, I look like I got like I took like Ozempic in my neck exclusively. Okay, like I look horrendous. I was like, you are an, I was like, you did me so dirty with this fucking filter. So fucking dirty. Like, look at the background, okay? This shit like got warped to shit. Like what? And she looks fine, of course. Like, of course, the person who has the filter, like they look good. But then me, I'm over here looking like fucking a buffoon. Okay. And then it also did like this weird like thing where at this part it kind of like drug it out a little bit and then it kind of like compressed it at the top i don't fucking know. i don't know where else the image was altered but this shit just does not look correct like i <laughs> i look crazy okay i actually look crazy all right like i literally look ai generated she was insane i was like you did not do me this dirty with the fucking filters okay i was like you did not and then there are other pictures that were chill so i met like this person and they said huh, ps um I didn't get to say this, but you're hella more attractive in person. See that? Someone's nice to me, chat. See, look, see, chat. See how hard it is, how easy it is to just be nice instead of saying I look like a fucking, like a, like a golem or saying that like a person who's not even really in the picture mogged me and you can only see like their eye and it's my full face. Like, fuck out of here, okay? Anyways, I feel like I'm video, I have this problem. I feel like I'm videogenic, all right? I feel like in videos, I look normal. In photos, I either look fine or I just look like a different human being. Like... Um, I don't know why I have this thing where like someone else pointed this out recently. I just kind of look a little bit different in every photo. Like, I don't know what it is. I like, like look consistently a little bit off in every photo. It used to be a lot worse a few years ago. Like I just look different in every photo, but now it's like, it, it's, I feel like it's evened out a little bit more, but I just don't know what the fuck it is. But yeah. I look different in every photo. And then, oh yeah. Y'all were celebrating me hitting. Oh yeah. We hit hundred K on YouTube. Shout out to that um and then there's this picture i took as well in the hotel lobby which was chill this picture as well they were like together so i took a picture with them first and then with them um do, 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 do. oh yeah i saw oh my god in this picture my stance is crazy bro they did like a nice cosplay i'm just sitting here looking like <laughs> yo i told you i was gonna be in a bum fit i told you i was not gonna give a fuck i told you guys i you guys can i can confidently say okay she definitely did she mogged me in this picture all right personally i'm standing man emojiing and i fucking like look uncomfortable so you know what it's okay but yeah i told you i was i did not i was not gonna wear it like anything i was just gonna wear some regular ass clothes so that's what the fuck i did shout out to that oh yeah and then this was day three but i met these people too they were in a group I literally, when I saw them, I was fucking, <laughs> I think I was like, it was like Camilla, Rain, Sleepy, and like, I think like the person who like was feel, like, was like neuro, doing like Neurosama's like backpack, right? I was literally in the, this chair behind me, like fucking like folded up and like half alive. And like someone walks up and they were like, oh, like, uh, can we get a picture? And I thought they were talking to Sleepy or like Camilla. I'm so serious. I didn't think they were talking to me. So I just did not respond. And then everyone like, like fucking, <laughs> then they like walked up to me and I was like, oh shit, they talking to me. I was like, all right, I get up and I was like, ah, but like I saw God for a second, you know, I stood up too fast and then I took the photo and they were super nice. Um, so yeah, that was chill. But yeah, day three, what happened with day three? Um, let me, let me try to re recall. I have some notes. Day three was day, no, I think it was day two was the day where I fucking, day two was the day where we had the dinner so after that um there was like a gamer subs dinner that i went to and they rented out like a whole steakhouse so some of us went to the gamer subs dinner and some of us went to um torchies i went to the gamer subs dinner that dinner was nice as fuck okay listen i'm gonna be honest with you bro gamer subs they, they that dinner was nice as hell i like have listen i have not signed any contract with them we have like no like formal business yet and they still invited me to the dinner and they still treated me. And it was like a very nice steakhouse. They had like a, they had like five, it was like four courses or some shit. There were like courses. There was like appetizers. They had like free, free alcohol, which I can't drink or I'll die, but free alcohol. Um, like fucking, you could pick like, if you wanted like a filet mignon, a New York strip steak, some like fish dish, some chicken. Like it was nice. They had dessert. I was like, damn. Okay. So it was very nice. And then when I walked in, they gave me like a, yo, they gave me like a, they gave me like a, guys, 
everyone who showed up to the fucking dinner they gave them a gucci wallet i'm not even kidding i was like i listen i walked in that bitch like they're like did you get your gift i was like what there's a gift and then they handed me the gift we all got Gucci wallets. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Swear to God. I was like, what the fuck? I have not even, I have not dot signed any dotted lines yet. You're already treating me this good. What is happening? So, pics or you're lying? Oh yeah, I do have pictures of this actually. Thank you for reminding me. Thank you for reminding me. Oh my God, you are so great. So, let me show you guys a picture of the Gucci wallet. This is still in the gift bag. So, it's like, um, it's not crazy or anything, but transform fit to screen. But this was me taking a picture of it under the table. I think I sent this to Johnny because I was like, what the fuck? They just gave me a Gucci wallet or something. So, yeah, this is the picture of the bag that it came in or, like, the thing it came in. Like, I was like, what the fuck? You can see it's a white tablecloth dinner. Like, I, yeah. And so I sat at a table with, like, Sleepy Rain 5 up. Um, I think Coefficient was there. Uh, who else? Like, at my table immediately. Oh, sure for and then, like, at the dinner, there was, like, Camilla and, like, a bunch of other people that, like, I knew as well, right? We cut, we, I think me, me, Camilla, uh, Rain, Sleepy, Five, but we walked to the dinner together because like, we met up beforehand. And so it was super chill. Camilla is so nice. Oh, my God. I have never met her before, but, um, I already, I, you know, we're already homies, okay? She was so chill. She was, like, just talking to me about, you know, being super sweet, giving me advice, you know, being, like, congrats on the debut. She was super, super nice, so... Yeah, make sure to show Camilla some love. She was super, super sweet to me for no fucking reason. Like, realistically, like a little too nice, you know? So, yeah, it was a lot of fun um, speaking with her. And, yeah, at that that day, we were, um, yeah, we went to the dinner. It was it was fun. The dinner was nice, okay? I'm going to be honest. I'm glad I didn't go. To, you said I had the option to go to Torchies or the dinner. Listen, I picked the dinner, and I made the right call, okay? I got a free Gucci. A free Gucci wallet is crazy. A free Gucci wallet, okay? And it's like, it wasn't even a cheap one. I don't, Five Up is like a fashion guru, okay? Five Up is a fashion guru. He, I, I keep telling him to fix me, okay? Because my fashion sense is not existent. And he was like looking at the wallet, inspecting the quality of the leather. I was like, bitch, how do you know all this? Like you are, we are in different tax brackets because I have no fucking clue it, what any of this shit means, you know? But he was like, it's actually a pretty good wallet. And I was like, okay, okay. Okay, bet. Yeah, see, he's yeah. You need to fix me, bro. Please, please. I IRL stream fixing Qu Quinn's fashion, and you're just gonna be like, okay, we're gonna take you here. You put this on, and then chat can fucking pull it or something. That'd be kind of funny. I'm not gonna lie. I would be standing there in like expensive clothes, looking like confused. Um, but yeah. So that was that. That was fun. What the fuck else did I do on that day? After the fucking dinner. I don't even remember. I think we just like chilled in a hotel room and we're just like, you know, chatting shit, having a good time, whatever, whatever. Oh, there was a concert. I don't know if the concert was that day. I think it was that day. There was a concert at the convention. I think it like Numi, Bao, Cinder, and Waifu Baby performed at it. So we went to that. Um, and <laughs> so the Ulan one. So Johnny, okay, listen, I, Johnny, the reason Johnny went to this shit was because of me, right? Because I invited him. I was like, yeah, you should come. He was like, he agreed like the day of, right? But Johnny is like fucking like fangirling over Cinder. And keep in mind, he does not watch Cinder. He just likes, like, he just, it was like, she's so mother. I love her energy. She's so mother. I love her. Like, quite literally that. Like, just, he just likes her. So he was like cheering for her, like overly excited at this like fucking concert he was like fucking like drunk just dancing around being like oh my god cinda she's so mother i love her oh my god da, da, da. jumping around giddy as fuck and i was sitting there like what how the fuck do you have this amount of energy like bro had more energy at this one concert than i've had for like the past week combined okay like it was insane and then he was like singing a bows music like fucking dancing he like at this fucking <laughs> okay at this concert thing he fucking like picked like me and like a few people up and was just running around. And I was very impressed by his strength. Like shit actually made no fucking sense. Like he had some, some crazy strength. Okay. We just picked me up, picked all these people up and was just like running around like a fucking like crackhead. And then fucking. So I don't know how this came up, but someone said that Sleepy looked like fucking. <laughs> Someone said that Sleepy looked like Joss Hutcherson. So, 
from being like while being drunk as fuck johnny took a picture with him and was like i just met josh Hutcherson and fucking took a picture of sleepy at this fucking concert and he was like bro i fucking hate you and like <laughs> and before anyone like even knew it was happening he posted it on twitter and so this is literally like fucking just this fucking picture of sleepy just like like bruh like <laughs> Like every time Sleepy like would make like a fucking like a face maxing face, I would be like, it was so fucking funny. Like bro, it was just it was no reason for it to be like. But yeah, Johnny was like a little too lit. I was like, where is this energy coming from, bro? Like I don't understand. Um, Reed, thanks for the bits. As cute man, standing emoji. You know, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, you know, I, I lie to myself too sometimes. Um, and Jang, there's a donation. Why he look like young Sheldon, but blonde. Guys, don't do me like this, please. Please, por favor. And yeah, so that was fun. That was day two. And then day three happens. Okay, all right, guys. Listen, bro. There was this tweet, too. Yo, fuck this person. Whoever made this tweet, okay? Fuck you, but this shit's so right. They said, Quinn be like, peace sign or fucking like... <laughs> I love you hand sign in every photo. <laughs> They said, quit me like this or this. And you know what? Corey, you're fucking right, okay? You're fucking right. <laughs> you are so fucking right. You know what? You are not fucking wrong, okay? You, you are, I saw this shit. This was the funniest fucking thing to me. I like, I audibly laughed out loud after fucking watching this. Like, it was insane. I was like, what the fuck? But you know what? They were, they were right. They were fucking. They were fucking right, bro. They were fucking right. And so then day three happened. Um, and day three was fun. I woke up. Um, we, I took, where's the picture? Oh, it's on my Twitter. Hold on. Boop, 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 boop. Day two, or day three, sorry, day, day tres. I posted this picture on Twitter. Okay, and um, I had a severe, you know, you know, I'll, I'll talk about this later. Okay, I'm just going to show the picture. And then like after the rest of the webcon stories, I will address the elephant in the room. But this is the picture I posted. Some might call me a little bit dumb, a little bit underdeveloped in the brain. I do have brain damage, so you know what? It's okay. I'll, I will address this later, but this picture was taken. Then, <laughs> then, you, you know, then the, um, uh, after that, we was day three and I was just walking around seeing you guys. It was a lot of fun. I think I was, um, I walked around the artist alley quite a bit. Um, I was day three. I was stopped. I think the most, I think because of that fucking, you know, Twitter post that I showed earlier. But yeah, I saw them. I saw her. Um, y'all motherfuckers did an edit of this because you guys are you know like you know deprived. Um, and it was fun. It was fun. It was fun. Day three was fun. It was a lot of fun walking around. And yeah, I saw a lot of people like um. A lot of people that didn't even want to take pictures. They just wanted to say what's up, which was fun. Um, yeah, I walked into a bunch of people. I met up with my one friend. I got to go into like the behind the scenes area where all the voice actors were. Bro, the area where the voice actors were was nice as fuck. Okay, they had like a buffet. Okay, they had fucking, they had a buffet. They had like free drinks. They had like fucking like croissants. They had like free bento boxes. You know, it was, they had like tables to sit in. It was crazy, bro. I was in like this, this like green room. It was super nice, okay? It was super fucking nice. And yeah. So. Are you considered a voice actor? No. I only got into this VIP section because my friend quite literally worked for the company running it. But I like otherwise, you know, snuck in that bitch. Okay. I was not. I was not supposed to be there. Okay. I scammed. I also scammed a fucking exhibitor badge. Okay. I scammed an exhibitor badge. So, you know. Yeah. I fucking scammed. So it was, it was, it was fun. Um, walked around. I got stopped a lot that day. There was one time where I was literally walking down like one strip and I got stopped like four times. 
And I was joking with Johnny before one of the people stopped me. I was like, well, imagine if someone like, because Johnny, yo, back in the day, guys, Johnny did K-pop covers, okay? Listen on YouTube, all right? He did K-pop covers, you know? My man was a pretty popular K-pop cover -er person, right? And so I was like, imagine if you got recognized. Imagine, imagine if you got recognized and um for like your covers. And he was like, that, that would never happen. That would never happen here. That would never happen here. And then literally like five minutes later, bro. <laughs> five minutes fucking later, bro. Someone walks up and is like, oh my God. And they like recognize Johnny. <laughs> they recognize me too, but they recognize Johnny. And they're like, oh my God. Oh my God, uh, Johnny did it. And he was like, what the fuck? And I was like, see, I was like, see, bro. What if they, what if they recognize you too? And so Johnny took a picture with them. I took a picture with them. And yeah, it was it was chill. It was chill. It was fun. It was a good time. It was a good ass time. Um, and then we went to like kind of the uwu uwu land, like behind the scenes area. And I was chatting there with like I think I chat. I was talking like Yuzu, Bao, um, and Camilla for like a few hours. We were just kind of hanging out there. Um, and then <laughs> there was a time at dinner. I don't remember when this happened, but I just thought this shit was fucking funny. Okay. I think this was day two, but I forgot. Sleepy at the like nice gamer subs dinner. Like we were talking about something and I said something so like I never say stuff that's like super nice right to people's face. Like I, I don't really comment people like, oh yeah, I'm really glad to be your friend. Like I don't say shit like that because I feel like it's a given. Okay. If I spend time around you, like I fuck with you. Right. But sleepy, I was like, yeah, I'm really lucky to be your friend or something. And he literally looks at me and he's like, what? And then everyone laughs like fucking five up rain. Like <laughs> he dead ass just didn't fucking hear me. He was like, what the fuck did you say? Literally everyone starts laughing their ass off. And I was like, bruh, I was like the one time I mustered enough, enough like kindness out of my fucking cold, dark heart to say something nice. The person was just like, huh? That happened. Um, but yeah. And then after the fucking, um, the Twitter post and walking around a bit. Um, uh, Rain was trying to like IRL stream. And so I don't know if you guys were watching it a bit, but Rain IRL stream for like all the five minutes. Okay. The fucking connection in the place was ass. Like the Wi Fi was terrible. So we couldn't get it to fucking work, but we were going to walk around and IRL stream for a bit. But that kind of fell through. So instead, we were just hanging out a bit. Um, yeah. And then Sleepy was like, yo, Sleepy. Sleepy was on the hunt to find like a furry, bro. Okay. He was on the hunt to find a furry. I don't know why. I don't know why. Okay. He wanted to find a furry so that he could, he wanted to borrow their fur, like their paws and their like head like mask and take a picture in it. So he was on like, he was on like furryfinder.net trying to find like furries of the kind. Cause there was a few of them. There was like five or so that I saw. And he just wanted to find one so that he could take like a fucking picture and like the their th like their like uh their mask and their like paws, and literally we kept running into furries, and he was like, not that one. I don't like the purple. Oh, that one can't take off the helmet. Bro was picky about which furry too. I was like, you already trying to find you know a limited finite group of people at this convention, and then we find furries and you're you don't like their fursona. What didn't like vibe? You didn't vibe with their fursona enough to take a picture with it. I was like, bro, bro was like on a hunt. Okay, he was on a hunt to find furries. It made no fucking sense. Like, bro, would you, he just wanted to find some. I, I I don't know why. Shout out to him looking for the furries, okay? But we, he ended up not finding one. And then after that, we ended up like kind of like, Rain did like her IRL stream with like Camilla and Vettel. And then uh, me and Sleepy and Five Up just kind of went back to the room. Johnny was doing his own thing. Um, and we just kind of like hung out and vibed like fucking chat shit we're on our phones just like just hanging out you know um and then then the next day after the con i went um i i changed our like flight so that we would leave the next day because we were originally gonna leave that day and johnny was like can we please can he put on like puppy eyes he was like can we please stay another day i don't want to leave today i want to hang out at night and have fun and what if more is going on? And then I'm going to be tired, please. And so um, I um, agreed to change my flights and paid like, you know, $200 to change my flight. And, you know, I don't even know how much the room was for an extra night. You So, yeah, 
Um, I was, you know, uh, I got guilt tripped and I said another day, but like low key, I kind of wanted to stay another day too. Um, everyone else is staying another day. So I was like, fuck it. Why not? So we stayed, um, to the other day and that night there was like a little, like a little, like, like, I don't know if a company threw the hotel party, but there was like a, there was like a, a, par a party and like, like, a, I think it was like Numi's party and like some hotel suite. And so he went to the hotel suite. Keep in mind this whole trip. Okay. Johnny didn't really know that many people like there. Um, but everyone fucking loved him. So he met a ton of people, which I was really happy about. Um, all my friends got along well with him, which was super nice. And yeah, everyone was like, oh my God, I love him. Like Sleepy was like, where's Johnny? You know, uh, is he around? Like we should do something with him. So yeah, everyone liked him. Um, and so at this party, oh my God. Okay. Listen guys, I don't drink, right? I can't like I'm on meds. That shit will kill me. So I was at this party with a bunch of VTubers and I knew a lot of them. And so I was hanging out with like Yuzu, Bao, um, knew me. Uh, who else? I was saying I was sleepy rain uh, five of course and Johnny. But yeah, everyone was walking. Johnny was walking around fucking talking to everyone like, oh my god, hey da -da 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 -da. Chatting fucking everyone's ears up. I was talking to like Camilla for a bit juniper. Uh, it was it was chill and so Yeah, but Johnny was very fucking talkative like he was talking to everyone. Johnny's so cute. I know right? He's so cute. He's talking to everyone like, oh my god, hello da -da -da -da. and fucking <laughs> So when we got there, since Johnny does K-pop covers, I knew I knew that like Bao, Bao had like the playlist. Bao had the playlist for the party. Like it was from her phone. So I, as soon as like Johnny walked away, was like, yo, Bao, like if I send you some shit to embarrass him, like he has covers, like will you play them? And immediately Bao's like, okay, just send it to me on Discord. She walks away before I even have time to like find it. She's, she fucking just DM me like, where is it? Like where, like she... <laughs> She's like, she's like, where's the link, bro? Where's the link? And I literally fucking like search on YouTube, the first cover of his that pops up and I sent it to her. And then like, we're in the other room, right? Where the drinks are. Cause there was two rooms in this, like it was a suite. So one of the rooms had like the speaker in it and it starts playing Johnny's cover and he doesn't notice for a while. And then eventually he notices and he like looks at me with this like, like super fluster face. It was like, turn this shit off. Turn this off right now. No, no, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. Who the fuck has the playlist? Oh my God, he was so embarrassed. <laughs> Yo, I'm evil. I'm fucking evil. I literally joked around that I was gonna do this shit like first day. And he's like, no, you're not. There's no way you'll do that. I found my opportunity and I took that shit. And literally the thing is, the cover is so good. Like no one would have fucking known it was him if he didn't react. But he reacted so <laughs> So loudly, bro. That he, and he was so like flustered and embarrassed. It was so fucking funny. And so, um, yeah, it was it was fucking funny. I've never seen someone embarrassed to run up to the bar so quick. Yeah, he was like, okay, I need a drink. Immediately after this, runs to the bar and gets a fucking drink. <laughs> and then for like the next the next hour, literally just just his covers playing on the phone. It's like. <laughs> It's literally just his covers playing on the phone. Because everyone kept, Bao kept lying that she wasn't the one that had the playlist. So like the covers kept playing and it was just like, to be honest, like no one knew after a certain point that it was his covers because he's very good at singing. So like you wouldn't fucking know unless you were really listening. So like, I remember like we walked out of that room and then we would like walk back in it like an hour later and his covers were still playing. He's like, who the fuck has the playlist? And I was like, I think Bao, I don't know. And then Bao was like, it's not me. And I was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe it's a new me. So Johnny just kept walking around trying to figure out who fucking. Because <laughs> me and Bao were fucking scheming. And um, so that was fucking funny. And so, you know, after our scheming, uh, eventually like Rain and Sleepy were like, yo, there was like one room that was just like a bedroom with like a TV in it. And they're like, we should do blind karaoke. And I was like, what the? I was like, karaoke, first of all, is not my sport, okay? I cannot sing for shit. But second of all, um, I guess blind karaoke is where you like put on a song and you like fucking like look away from the TV and you have to like start singing it. So we were kind of doing it for a bit and then fucking, yo, it comes to be Johnny's turn. And Johnny like wants us to play some like, he's like, we're like playing cupcake songs. And he's like fucking going ham. He's like dancing. He was like putting on a performance. I was literally on the bed, like borderline embarrassed because like everyone knew I fucking brought him there, right? Everyone knew I brought him there. So he was just singing like fucking crazy, like, like, you know, out of pocket ass songs, like with like his full soul, his full heart, just dancing. I was on the bed, like dying, laughing while also being seemingly embarrassed too. You know what, Johnny, you kind of got me back for playing your covers. Low key, this was his payback. But honestly, he wasn't even thinking that far ahead, okay? He was just doing it. 
he was just fucking doing it and i think in the room was like me sleepy some random three dudes that like i don't even know who they were but they were in the party just like looking at the tv and looking at us like what the fuck is wrong with you yuzu was there i think later like camilla came in and he was just <laughs> he was going crazy it was actually insane like i was like how much like, it was like a performance bro it was kind of impressive okay i was like damn like you know what he ate that shit up, okay? Unironically, he ate that shit up. Johnny was mothering. He was serving. He put his whole... He was serving... Uh, the, he was contemating and put his whole contusy into it. He was fucking... He was, he, was, he was eating that shit up, okay? And I was sitting like, Jesus fucking Christ. This is crazy. Like, what the fuck is happening? Um, and so I was embarrassed as shit, too. But you know what? It was a good time. It was fun. Um, yeah. And then that... That party, yo, I was there from like 10 to like 4 in the morning, bro. And like Johnny, like literally the whole time energy was at 10. I started dying after like the, like the, like when it hit like 2 a.m. I was like, I was like dying. Fucking Sleepy and Rain like booked a flight that day. So they changed their flight from, it was the next day. And then they changed it to be 7 a.m. So that they stayed up and just left from the party straight to their flight. Johnny was talking to everyone. Me and Yuzu were just like, we're just like fucking like bro, bro girl talking like in a corner for a while. Then like Johnny would walk up occasionally and be like, oh my God, guys, hello. Da -da -da, running around. Like he was insane. He was so much energy. And at one point I was like, okay, Johnny, like we have to leave. And he was like, no, I don't want to. But, 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 and someone was like ordering food for everyone there. Like, and he wanted like food, I think. This person was like walking around just ordering everyone food. And he was like, I want, I want, I, but I want to stay for the food. And I was like, I was like, okay, fine. We'll stay for the food. It'll be like 20 minutes. And then it comes like 20 minutes passes and fucking, um, the person never ordered the food. So I was like, okay, well, we waited 20 minutes and I hadn't even ordered the food yet. So then at that point I was like, let's just fucking leave. It never came. Did you stay for the food, Camilla? Did it like never even come after that? We eventually left. We were all waiting. It never came. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, we left early. I was like, Yuzu was like, I'm going to stay for the food. And I was like, you don't want... Because Yuzu was like, okay, we have to decide a cutoff time for when we're leaving. And she was like, four. And I was like, fine. Four is doable considering my flight time tomorrow. Um, And so, yeah, we did that. And then I pretty much like dragged Johnny out of there. And then he wanted to say bye to everyone. And then I said bye to everyone. And then I fucking like, I fucked off and left. Uh, and then getting him back to the room was a fucking task. Because he was like, ah. he was like, ah. I like like just some like fucking like drunk you know i being like drunkenly cute but like stumbling around everywhere he took his fucking crocs off he was like grabbing onto me like where is the room i don't understand i was like how the fuck were you so competent at the party but the second we leave the door and like get in the elevator like you're fucking confused like what the fuck is happening like i don't understand so we ended up getting back to the room um and then we were like packing shit i was kind of dead and uh we went to bed and then the next morning, uh, we woke up and we left. And then I, that same day, like the next day, so this is like day, what, four? I had like a, so one of my um, friends who was working the con um, and doing like some of the management stuff for the voice actors got like VIP tickets to the Addo concert. And I was like, you got VIP tickets? So he invited me to that. And I was like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna go to that. Why the fuck not? So I ended up going to the Addo concert and um that day and it was fucking great um my only issue was the line was so fucking long bro okay so keep in mind it was like in like a stadium kind of thing and bro this was the line outside so i was kind of toward the front of the line when i took this picture but this was the fucking line um when like <laughs> This was the VIP line too. So like the general line was definitely fucking, was definitely fucking bigger. But this was how long the line was. Like it goes to the, like you see that shit? Bro, that shit. It goes like all the way fucking down there, bro. Like literally the people disappear. That's how tiny the line gets, bro. Like they go over the horizon line. Okay. We showed up an hour early to and have VIP. Like, shit, I couldn't take a picture of inside of the concert hall because they gave you this, like, case to put on your phones where you couldn't take pictures and you couldn't unlock it unless you, like, left. So it was it was so I think, like, people weren't trying to sneak pictures of Addo or, like, zoom in or anything like that. So I couldn't take any pictures of the inside. But, yeah, this is us at the front of the line. 
So this is like the front kind of when I took it. So this is like the front POV and then the other one was the back POV of like the same spot on the line. So yeah, I drove with my friend um, to the Addo concert from um, this area because it was like, what, three hours away from the con? So I decided like, fuck it. Well, I'm just going to stay and drive there with him. So we dro I drove there with him. Wasn't It was fine. But then Addo concert was good. She, she, you know, she was killing that shit. But then, oh yeah, here's my like a fucking VIP pin I got too. If you were VIP, you got a pin. Uh, fit the screen. Yeah. So, it was it was good. 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 But yeah, fucking. On the way back, we leave the con, right? We leave. We leave. We leave the fucking like the 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 the, the venue where the concert is, and fucking. It's thunderstorming. Keep in mind. From the venue, we I walked. I walked the venue to a location that was like 20, 15 minutes away by foot. Cause we were I uh, we were at like a hotel. And so we were at like the like the hotel by this by the like uh venue, but it was kind of far and we weren't gonna Uber there because it was very walkable. But then on the way back, it was pouring fucking rain. And since it was pouring rain, you couldn't get an Uber because they were all packed, or the Ubers were gonna be like three hundred dollars. And I'm not paying three hundred dollars for a 15 minute walk. So I proceeded to walk in the rain, okay, for like 20 minutes. This was not like a light rain. This was like a, there was like thunder in the sky, like visible lightning, wind, okay? It was raining hard as fuck. And I was like, why of all the times for it to rain in Texas, it's right when I fucking leave a concert that's busy and there's no fucking cars in sight and I have to walk. So... Yeah, I got all wet in the rain. Um, I took this picture in the fucking hotel bathroom. This was me with me. So like my shirt was soaked. My pants were soaked. I was soaked. This is with me literally fucking covering my head with the bag. So there was like a bag that you bought. If you bought merch, you could put stuff in. And it was like, it was a pretty nice, like for a merch bag, it was pretty nice. It was like, like kind of like a plasticky. So I was holding it over my head so I wouldn't get as wet. Okay, so this is me like trying to stay dry and I was just wet as shit and I bought a t-shirt I have never been more more fucking grateful that I bought a fucking t-shirt. So I had a dry ass t-shirt I could wear In my like in the uber back to my fucking hotel because I wasn't staying at this hotel My hotel was like 30 minutes out the way. Okay I was just fucking at this hotel because it was closer to the venue and my friend was here who invited me to the fucking concert so Yeah I changed my shirt and then rode in a fucking Uber while like soaking wet for like the next 30 minutes. And that was the concert. The concert was good. The concert was good. Yeah, it was it was great. Loved it. Um, Didn't love the rain afterward. And then this is just like a random picture that fucking like rain was taking like a Polaroids of everyone. I want more. I know she has some more and I was like, send them to me of the group. And if I get more group pictures, I'll post them on Twitter. Um, but Yeah, this is the one she took of me and she was like drawing over them. So this was like me in the fucking hotel room. And then she like drew shit over it and made me like a fucking minion. <laughs> she made me a fucking minion. Yeah. The auto concert was great. She has more stage presence in a box with a silhouette than like half of the fucking artists I've ever seen live in concert. Okay. Quite literally that shit was impressive. The amount of stage presence for literally only being a silhouette in a box was kind of mad. Um, so yeah, it was really good. It was super fun. I was glad I got tickets. Thank you to my friend for getting me those. And yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. And we went to the Addo concert with like fucking my friend, his business partner was some like older Japanese woman because that's how they get like the Japanese voice actors to these cons and her daughter. So this conversation was like, I only knew English, right? Her daughter only knew Japanese. And then the mother and my friend knew both. So it was like, we were talking as a group while like they were like actively translating what the fuck we were saying. It was kind of insane. I'm not gonna lie. It was kind of insane. Like we were fucking there and like translating shit. And in the hotel, um, before I walked over to the concert, someone recognized me. Someone, um, someone walked out and was like, "Oh, are you, are you Quinn?" And I was like, I was like, keep on. I was sitting in this hotel lobby eating like a Twix bar and like some cheeses because I had not eaten anything like all fucking day, and like scarfing this down. And this dude walks up, are, "Are you Quinn?" And I was like, I was like, uh, I guess, yeah. And I was like, "How are you?" And like they were kind of leaving, so it was a very quick thing. Um, and then at the concert, I got recognized by like two other people. So, you know, that was kind of cool saying hi. Um, speaking of getting recognized, fucking Pablito with the, with the, with the, with the, with the donations. Hold on. Let me, let me read this one. 
Dude. I saw you guys walking on the road as I was driving too. Was gonna even offer you guys a ride but you guys were running. Like why were you guys out in the rain? <laughs> Jez. Okay, because we were walking to the hotel, bro. We, were <laughs> we walked to the hotel. And then when I got recognized, like, like my friend had to somehow explain to this, like, Japanese girl that we were with, like, why I got recognized. And, like, he was like, how would you describe yourself? And that was, like, a niche internet micro celebrity. Like, I don't know what the fuck else. Like, I'm not famous. The f I'm just in an area where, like, you know, I'm in my current, I'm in my niche right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm at a, I'm at a, like, a weeb concert. So, Yeah. I had some like look at me from across the room and wave. So, you know, shout out to you guys. I feel like there was, there's definitely some crossover in like, you know, I wonder if anyone else went to WeebCon and then the concert too. Um, but yeah, that was it. And then that was, you know, my fucking WeebCon, you know, ado concert experience. Then I came back, I was, uh, came home this morning. And now I'm fucking here.